Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. This will be a short video. Please download immediately after we finish the video. The Muslims keep saying to us, and there's thousands of videos and thousands of articles about the Prophet Muhammad, how poor he was. To the point their video is called or title is the poverty, not only his poor, poverty, the poverty of a Prophet Muhammad. How true what the Muslims they say. Sahaba and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who had nothing. They had nothing. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. She's telling her nephew Uwai radiallahu ta'ala anhu. She says to him, by Allah. You need to understand. This is the wife of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She says to him, by Allah. Three full moons would pass us by. Not one. Three full moons. Two full months. Two full months would pass us by. And not a single flame would be lit in any of the nine houses of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay, hold on. Let us stop here. So the Prophet, he have nine houses according to this guy. Yet, two months goes and they cannot light a fire. Do you see how poor he is? I mean, he is so poor to the point he have nine houses and nine wives according to this guy at that time. I mean, obviously he is so poor. Nine houses, nine wives, and he is so poor. And all the nine houses, they don't have a fire at home. Well, let me tell you something. If this is true, that's when your prophet is mentally ill because how in the world he is marrying those women if he cannot feed them? What they will do? They go and work prostitution? Why a man, he cannot afford to have nine wives, he have them. What they use to eat them. Let us expose this lie. We mentioned today, this is Sahih Hadith. Aisha, she promised, she swear by Allah that she will not speak to a guy, his name is Abdullah ibn Zubair. Abdullah ibn Zubair, <coughs> Aisha, she swear by Allah, I will never talk to him again. She will never. I vow before Allah that I will never speak to Abu Zubair. And because Aisha, later she broke her oath, she freed 40 slaves she owned. She spoke, till she spoke, with Abdullah ibn Zubair. She freed 40 slaves, not because she is a good woman, no. But because she broke the oath on the vow she made for Allah. Now the question here, if you're a prophet, have nine houses, and every house at least have 40 slaves. Because you see, Aisha alone, she have 40. And you Muslim, you say your prophet was a person who treat his wife equally. And equally mean, if Aisha, she have 40, that's mean each one of his wife, she have 40. Now you said to me that he have nine at that time. So 40 x nine, that's mean 3,600 slaves. Sorry, 3,060, uh, 360 slaves. The prophet, he have 360 slaves. If we say only 40 slaves, and there is no way Aisha, she freed 40 slaves out of 40 slaves. That's why she is 40. She did, she did not say that she freed all her slaves. No, they said she freed 40 slaves. I mean, imagine how poor they are. When Muhammad, he received the gift of Mary the Copt, and her sister Serene and the, her cousin and many others from the king of, of, of Alexandria with 1,000 weight of gold. He was so poor. Aren't you Muslim? You say to us that the Prophet Muhammad, he married the most rich, filthy women in Mecca. Her name is Khadija bin Khuwailid. And yet you say to us the Prophet was living in the poverty. Aisha, she married Muhammad three years after. The death of, of Khadija, where is the money of Khadija has gone? Just three years. And Muhammad in the poverty. And look what it says. This is your Islamic website, not mine. Al-Islam.org. They are saying that Islam did not rise except by the sword of Ali and Khadija wealth. So why you lie? 
if every one of their his it end up and the Sahaba the companion of the Prophet they have nothing go and read the books they have thousands of slaves actually even Abu Bakr he is the one who bought Bilal and he gave him as a gift to Aisha Aisha she received 1,000 piece of gold in her in her in, in her anniversary the wives of Muhammad were fighting over the gifts and yet they say to us and they lie saying the Prophet he was living in poverty I cannot believe it how much they lie no dignity no honesty here in this hadith and by the way the hadith we mentioned for you before this is the hadith and this is initially in al-bukhari and this is a sahih hadith let me show you the reference in al-bukhari so they don't say we are making things up This is a book. This is actually this is here is mentioned in the, the book of Al Adab Sahih as you see so they cannot say it's a lie in this hadith here in Sahih uh, in, in Sunan al Nisa'i It says that the wives and actually we can show it from more than one source I mean we can we can get it from all every Islamic books including Sahih Muslim or Sahih al Bukhari You will see that the wives of the Prophet they are fighting about what about money about the gifts all the gifts they used to go to the house of Aisha and Aisha she like the gift she don't like she give it to the other wives and Muhammad the, the wife she kept complaining and Muhammad will never agree to let the gifts goes to any uh, house except Aisha so the wives they have a party against the Prophet asking him to be fair why you don't quit you not treat us equally they send even his daughter which is his fake daughter Fatima the daughter of Khadija and as you see the messenger he said to her don't hurt me in Aisha I never received Quran except in the clothes of Aisha so why they lie to us and they say that this is not uh, Muhammad was a poor man all the money all the gifts go to the house of Aisha read with me carefully the wife's prophet sent Fatima the daughter of the messenger of Allah she for permission and she asked he gave her permission and she said to him oh messenger of Allah your wives have sent me to ask you to be equitable with uh, or regard the matter of the daughter of Abu Quhafa which means the daughter of Abu Bakr Aisha what is the problem the problem is all the gifts they go to Aisha I mean do you see how poor they are gifts coming like rain So when they lie to you, they lie to you. They have no shame and they will be happy to lie to you. And the story is to say to you, Muhammad was a very good man. But as you see, Muhammad, if he was a good man, he will not even treat his wives not to be equal. He did not even treat them equal. The Muslim they say to us, Oh, the Quran says you have to treat your wife equally, and the story in the front of us says it clearly that Muhammad never treat his wives equally, fighting over money and gifts. So, my friend, I will not keep this video long. Please download it immediately and don't make them fool you. Muhammad even he gave Abu Sufyan the Quranic speak about it and the Islamic interpretation speak about it He gave Abu Sufyan and his children each one of them 100 camel and many many kilograms of gold and silvers Where the money is coming from? If a man he can give gifts like this 100 camel to each Where is the money coming from? The Prophet was so poor they lied to us and they say the Prophet he did borrow money from a Jew show us the story Let us see how you how, how you lie This is a fabricated story What Jews he killed all the Jews what neighbor? My friend Please help us to expose this cult they lie and they enjoy their lies and they repair their lies because they knew nobody is going to get them busted nobody is going to show them that they are lying 
so we can lie as much as we want why why not why not and the more you lie the more you are a good guy in Islam Islam is based on lies and if those people are decent they should say the truth where is the money of Khadija is gone tell me where Muhammad he stood up I say hey all the money of Khadija is donation I will give it out let us see what a liar 40 slaves she freed just because she brought an she broke an oath so how many she own and who is feeding them they run in the street like goats unbelievable thank you guys for being here don't forget to download the videos and this is a very short one and we made it just to answer those fools and their lies thank you and god bless you if you like to learn more feel free to read my books it is in amazon.com and you can search or any amazon french or german we have them translated to many languages including spanish german swedish and french and dutch and let us see what the muslims will say please leave your comment if you are abdul if you are a muhammadan and tell us why you muslims always do that where is your dignity why you don't say the truth my friend you cannot cover the truth by lies because you fabricate a lie you need another 1000 lie to, co to cover the first lie so do your best now i want to see the comment of the muslims and let us see what they can say Thank you very much. Take care. God bless. Christ is Lord and Islam is based on lies and false. Thank you.